Self-assembly looks something like this. It's a phenomenon that allows particles to form ordered structures without specific guidance. We'll be showing static self-assembly, which reaches a stable state. There are four important factors to any self-assembly system. The first is the environment, which in our experiment will be bowls filled with water. The second is the particles. We're using aluminium cans cut up into small shapes. The next is the binding force, which in our case will be surface tension. And finally, the driving force, which will be movement in the water, allowing the particles to get close enough together to interact. Our binding force of surface tension works because of something called the Cheerios effect, where there is contact between water and most types of surface a meniscus will form. Because floating particles experience an upward force, when they float into a meniscus, they will travel up the meniscus to the highest point. This causes the particles to be grouped and held together because the same force prevents them from traveling back down the meniscus. In this first clip, we see the particles forming an ordered structure as they interact. This is due to the regular structure of the particles and they stay together as a result of the effect we just discussed. We can also see some particles clinging to the sides of the container as a result of the meniscus present there. In the next clip, we've changed the shape of the particles and what we see is that the structures forming are much less ordered. Some particles are joined only at the corners and there are more gaps in the structure. This is because the triangular shapes have a lower probability of aligning in a way that allows ordering to happen. In order for these to form, the tessellations would need to look something like this. Instead, what we see are structures forming like this, because the triangles have sides of different lengths. We can compare this with the rectangular shapes, which can pack along either the short or long sides, so are able to form into much more regular patterns. Here we see the two systems side by side after one hour, and the difference in the degree of order to the packing can be easily seen. Finally, we reduce the number of triangular particles in the system to see how changing particle density affects the process. And what we see is that the final ordering of the structure is much more sparse, because with fewer particles in the system, they are less likely to come close enough together to interact. Shown here are both systems after one hour, and the differences can clearly be seen. Most self-assembly systems are much smaller than this one, but we hope this demonstration has helped you to understand how they work and what the important components of the system are.